Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button and also hit that notification bell so you'll be notified once I create a new video. This channel is designed to help new and potential business owners. So today's video, I'm going to show you how to find a wholesale vendor and how to create an account on the website. So if this interests you, continue watching and also give me a thumbs up and also leave a comment, I'll talk back. So let's get into it. There are plenty of ways of how to find a vendor list. Most of the time you can see them sponsored on Instagram or Facebook. People will sell the list to you. So that's totally up to you. If you want to, you can purchase a wholesale vendor list from people online or you can actually research it. When you decide that you want to start a business, you have to understand that you have to put in the work. So not knocking it if you have already purchased vendor lists from people, that's totally up to you, but I'd rather research it on my own. But if you want to do both, that's good as well. You can search through any search engine. So if you want to choose Google, Bing, Yahoo, up to you. But for this video, I'm going to select Google and all you're going to type in is wholesale vendors. So notice when you type in wholesale, there are different choices that are coming up. Like, are you trying to type in clothing, vendors, jewelry, fabric, so on and so on and so on. And we are wanting to look for vendors. And then when you type in vendors, other categories populate. You want to just look for wholesale vendors lists and it goes specific if you want to look for hair, lashes, what other categories, sunglasses, and all that jazz. And like I said, if you choose to purchase the vendor list from online or from someone you know, that's totally fine. But I like to actually do the work for myself so when someone asks me a question i'll be like oh yeah i did such and such or oh yeah this is the route i took you decide to purchase a vendor list you need to make sure that the vendors that you're going to actually use is up there and there's one wholesale supplier wholesalecentral.com i also see that this is a common question that's asked on google so it's like how do i find wholesale vendors what are wholesale vendors? What are the best wholesale websites? And what are the best wholesale clothing suppliers? They also have YouTube videos where they sponsor the free vendor list. So the one that we're going to select on is the purple hyperlink fashiongo.net. So once you come to the website, as you can see, a lot of selections to choose from. You can select for women, shoes, accessories, handbags, beauty, kids, men, others, meaning like if you want to get umbrellas. And then um, once you click on the next tab over from categories, say you're familiar with a particular vendor, you want to see if your vendor is on Fashion Go. So you can go ahead and type in that vendor or you can click the drop down and you can see if your vendor is there or you can type it in like type in their name or you can just pull down the vendor list and just browse through if you and want then when you click on the next tab over with the new in it lets you know how many pieces they got in today and then how many pieces they got in the last seven days and you have the option to shop in the new categories and let you know what is new in each category from the first tab that we just shown when you want to actually purchase some of the pieces inside of fashion go it's required for you to create an account just like any other place it's pretty much the same they ask for your name your address if you want to have stuff mailed to you but with wholesale vendors what they're going to require from you is a business license and or your seller's permit which they'll let you know if 
they'll need both or one is fine and also if you have been if you've already been established for more than six months then they're going to request for a copy of your invoice i think it's like either up to three invoices but if you haven't like say if you are new and you don't have any invoices because you haven't purchased anything then you would select the option of businesses less than six months old or something to that effect and then you'll be able to bypass the invoice step but you will be required to upload your business license and or seller's permit so we are going to act as if we are new and everything that i type in is going to be totally made up okay so keep on watching y'all all right so we're going to type in well first before i do that the first section the first block is where you will you know sign in to shop say we already created an account but the next tab over it says not a member join today so we are going to create an account once we hit that button it's going to bring us to this page and it is asking do you do you want to buy on fashion go or do you want to sell on fashion go so we want to buy on fashion go and the membership is completely free so then once we click on that we want to become a buyer and it lets us know the perks of being a buyer we'll be shopping from more than a thousand wholesale vendors who are very trendy and they have a lot of styles apparently they got more than five thousand updated a day i'm here for it so we're going to go ahead and become a buyer because we're so excited and then we get to the buyer registration there are four tabs that need to be completed so again i'm just going to fill in so before we do that yes yeah, so the personal information we're going to say our name is Jane Doe. We're going to put in our email address, note at email.com. And we're going to type in our password and then type in our phone number. Put on 425A. All right, so the company address. And the name of our boutique is fancy apparel and seller's permit is usually nine digits you will receive that once you go and retrieve your seller's permit i have a video on that we're going to say our address is 123 abc street type in your zip code and then it's going to automatically populate the city and the state so the shipping address down below, you will just check that box if it's the same as the company address. If it's not, then of course you would just put in that address. Then it's going to populate another box before you go to the next screen. And it's going to ask, do you want, did you mean this address or do you want what you put? Since our address is invalid and it's not real, we're going to put, keep the address that we wrote. Moving on. So we already updated our personal information, our company and shipping address. So now we're going to proceed to the third tab of our business information. They want to know about our company, Fancy Apparel, because yes. So it's asking, where do you sell your products? So we can select, I'm just going to let y'all know what it shows and what it asks for. So when you select on offline store, brick and mortar, nothing pops up because it's strictly brick and mortar. So when we click on online store, it's going to ask for a website URL, or if you click on online and offline store, it's going to ask for that as well. So that means it's mandatory to type in your URL. So we're just going to click on offline store. Then we scroll down to what kind of store do you own? We're going to say it's just a boutique and we cater to women, shoes, beauty, handbags, and accessories for the plus size and petite size. We also specialize in lingerie, maternity, and swimwear. The style we like is casual, formal, and contemporary. And the occasions we address for vacation, lounge and sleeping, evening, cocktail, night out, and outdoor and active. And then it goes on to ask, how do we hear about? them 
So it says search engine trade show. Trade shows are events where wholesale vendors attend and they have all of their merchandise or select pieces of their merchandise. And boutique owners like myself or anyone shopping from this site has an opportunity to attend the trade show and look at the pieces on hand. Also able to speak with the actual vendor, try to bargain with their pieces to see if they can get it for a different price or if they can get a discounted price if they are shopping in bulk, which we always do. So that's pretty much what a trade show is. Most of the vendors from the trade shows are on Fashion Go, whereas some of the vendors that are at the trade shows, you're only able to find them at the trade shows, meaning they don't have a website. And then you can select social media, which y'all know about that. You can select referred by a vendor, referred by a buyer, other email. So we're going to select search engine. And then when we select search engine, it is going to ask which one, Google, Yahoo, or Bing. So we're gonna say Google, cause that's where we search from. So we're gonna select that one. And then we're gonna hit the next tab and then it's gonna take us to the fourth one, which is verification. So if we had put in a valid email address, we would have received a five digit code. That's where we would put in those five boxes, the digit code, whatever. Um, then we're gonna select, you know, the standard, agree to the terms of use and the buyer services agreement. If you want, you can view the PDF, save it for your files, whatever you wanna do with that. If that information was valid up top, there would be a blue box for create account, not a grayed out box. So we're gonna act like we put in the correct information and we're gonna say, oh yay, they accepted this. Usually to be accepted, it takes about three to five business days. If they have any questions or whatever, they will email you and say, hey, we're not able to approve you because of this. Are you able to da 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 and just complete the request that they ask for. Moving on. So we're gonna act like we were accepted and it's gonna welcome you. Hey girl, hey, that's my name. And it's gonna let you know when you joined, as you can see, I am legit, like I'm not playing. I didn't just create this video just because like I want to help y'all, okay? that's thumbs up worthy right i hope you hit that thumbs up button if you didn't do it before when i asked you nicely i'm asking again can you hit that thumbs up button thank you all right so next is going to just pretty much give you like resources for retailers due to the COVID 19 we're just gonna breeze over that there is an incentive of having a membership through fashion go with each order, you will be able to earn points and then you can redeem your rewards, which takes, you know, you'll be able to save money on your next purchases, which is great because everyone needs to learn to save their coins, honey, okay? And these are the trade shows that I was speaking, that I was speaking of. One of the ones that I wanted to attend this year, but due to COVID, um, America Smart and they are in Atlanta. Then another one is Fame, which is in New York. So we're gonna click on the first vendor. These are some of the vendors that are that attend the trade shows America's Mart in Atlanta. And they are also in Fashion Go, which is great. Click on the first vendor, Alley Rose by Amber. So when we go to the hyperlink of Alley Rose, the company information, reviews, like just like with any other website before you purchase stuff, you want to read the reviews. You want to read the frequently asked questions just in case, cause you never know, you never know. So it lets you know their show schedule. I'm pretty sure those dates are not accurate, but let's just And then going. as you click on each tab, it will populate with whatever the tab you selected on, like the company information there, information will pop up, the reviews, if they have any will pop up, and so on and so forth. 
and just like with any other store they're going to have different return policies so each vendor has their own return policy so it is crucial for you to read each vendors that you select on read their return policy read their frequently asked questions because just because Ali Rose 300 says you got 30 days to return your product say flippy trippy George that you ordered from you only got seven days after you receive it to return it so even though you order from the same source fashion go each vendor has a different return policy okay just throw that out there moving on now I'm going to show you how to add things to your car. All right, so they have blouses, jumpsuits, rompers, and all that jazz. So I feel like this would, you know, I feel like the selections that we chose in the beginning, this would be something that our target audience would purchase. Because remember we selected women. And then they also have where just like any other um, website that you shop from you can be like I just want to see what y'all have in stock only because I don't want to get my hopes up get all happy and then I get to purchase it and y'all ain't got it so only show me what's in stock only or if you want to pre-order say you are doing drop shipping or you're only doing pre-orders from on your website then you will make sure you select pre-order or if you want it strictly from Fashion Go, you would just select that only at Fashion Go tab. If you want to only purchase items that are on sale, then you will make sure you select that box for sale and everything that you select will populate. You can see they only have 22 items for the jumpsuits. They got some nice jumpsuits now. Now if you want, you can just go ahead and order stuff for yourself, but just remember it comes in bulk. So that's another thing to remember. That seller's permit is the key. Think of that seller's permit as the golden ticket to chocolate factory. Okay, that seller's permit is your best friend. That seller's permit is like the ticket to get you in the VIP section. Oh, did I mention that seller's permit is free? Watch my video. I'll make sure I'll, I'll tag it up above, but you'll just watch it after. Let's continue. Okay, so I'm still scrolling. I'm just clicking on items and stuff. Y'all can multitask. Y'all can watch and listen. All right, so now we're just going to click on the Alley Rose by Ember. This one, that's $7.75. Double click on it. And then again, like up at the top, it has three reviews for this top. And the minimum order is $100 and it has the contact information. All right, so with the minimum order, that means, now just like each vendor has a return and cancellation policy and they have their own frequently asked questions, they also have their own minimum order. So that means that say we just wanted to order this blouse. When we order this blouse, it will come in the ratio of two, two, and two. So that means we'll get two smalls, two mediums, two large. Each blouse will be $7.75. So say we just wanted to order one pack. So in that one package, we will receive two smalls, two mediums, two large, which will be six. And it will bring us to $46.50. No, it's not gonna let us add it to the shopping cart. Why? Because the minimum order has to be $100. Now that does not mean we have to order $100 worth of this specific shirt. No, but if you want to, you can but that's up to you. That means that from this vendor, Ali Rose, we have to order $100 worth of products, the minimum. Now we can exceed 100, but the minimum amount is 100. So if you want, you can go in and add some more jumpsuits, add some more rumpers, add some more dresses, bottoms, outerwear, sweaters, whatever she has from the vendor category. So now we wanna add some accessories because we did say we wanna have accessories, right?
So they have rings, earrings, necklaces, all the girls' favorite. Yes, Lord, come through. All right, so we're just going to go to multi-strand necklaces, and we're going to skip down. Again, they have it just like the other one, but they have a little bit more. All right, now. So, ooh, I like this one. I like the snake and cobra. All right, so we're going to select LA3 accessories. So the snake and cobra chain multi-layer necklace. I like this. It is $3.50. So just one necklace is $3.50. So this is a different vendor. Notice at the top, LA3 accessories, Los Angeles. That is a different vendor. They have 87 reviews. Their minimum order is $50. We're going to say we want a quantity of 25. So notice there's no ratio. So that just means we're getting 25 necklaces. Okay, if I can do it. Okay, never mind. We're getting 15. So apparently 25 is too much. All right, so we're gonna get 15. That brings us to 52.50. All right, so even though it says successfully added to cart, remember I only selected one pack of those shirts for $46.50 and look it gives us a little red caution button saying this store requires a minimum order of $100 so you have to add more to meet the minimum order requirements so we didn't add it so it's going to let you know once you go back to the checkout like hey we can't do this because it said you have to have a minimum all right so I'm gonna just go on back and fix it and like I said um, it'll give you like an estimation charge of your shipping as well. You can view the return and cancellation policy on the checkout top on the checkout. Oh, look. Words come through on the checkout tab. And then once you adjust that, then you can go ahead and update it. So it'll be effective. And then you notice that little red hyperlink will go away. Won't it do it? All right. So now say we had more than one vendor that we wanted to check out we can either check out all vendors or we could just check out this vendor or say we didn't want to purchase this item from Alley rose right now we could just save it for later since we are in our account it will save into a folder as you can see it'll go underneath saved items underneath that tab All right, so now we're going to check out. Okay, so the order summary, just like any other place, it'll have your shipping information, which is grayed, blacked out, whatever you want to call it. And it has an order summary of how many pieces we have in there. And then you can select your shipping method. You can do UPS, USPS, or FedEx. And you can choose how quick you want your product. And if you want to protect your packages, you can check the insurance box and you can also check the signature requirement and it has additional fees will be applied then you can select your payment method i usually love when websites have you know paypal as a option of payment because i hate putting in my card information but this website does not but they are legit okay i would not have created my account okay if it wasn't and definitely would not have created this video if it wasn't but again research i cannot stress that enough research on your own so this is where you will put in your current information and then you will hit save and then the next page will tell you you know what they normally tell you when you're about to place an order and that is pretty much it so again i hope this video was helpful again i cannot stress enough you need to research even after watching this video be sure to do your research again i hope i was 
thorough. I hope you learned something. Before you provide your banking information or before you even upload your business license and seller's permit, you need to make sure that wherever you are uploading is credible. Research their social media. Be nosy, snoop, okay? Just like you'd be going through your boyfriend's phone. Go through the reviews of the vendor, making sure that they are legit. Read reviews on Google. Go to YouTube, type in the videos. Type in the wholesaler's name to see if people are doing reviews on their products like they do for everything else, like for the hair, eyelashes, the makeup tutorials and all of this, or the hair products. I'm pretty sure they are doing reviews from the vendors that they choose from. Cause you wanna make sure that you, while you are on this journey of building your brand, that the pieces that you're choosing have quality in them, in the items. And that is all I have for today. Be sure to like this video, give me a thumbs up, okay? Leave me a comment, I'll talk back, and I'll see y'all in the next video. See y'all.